welcome to Through His Eyes with Pastor Carl Williams. And today we want to continue to look at James chapter 1, verse number 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. This verse is so important because, once again, James is giving us some insight on how we are to look at life and living. When we look at this verse, we see him talking to the brother, count it all joy. No matter what you face in life, no matter what tribulations you're dealing with, no matter what challenges you may have, we need to count it all as joy. I'm reminded of a story that was told to me some time ago about some twin boys who parents um, was trying to help them navigate life. They had one brother that was a pessimistic individual. No matter what the parents did, no matter what they tried to, to show him or to give him, he will always have some negative feedback to the family. And it just frustrated them to the point where they felt he was hopeless. Then on the flip side, they had a son. He was very optimistic. This son, no matter what happened in his life, he always found the good or the, the, the benefit of going through whatever he went through. So one day, the mom and dad decided they was going to do something unique. Well, to the, to the negative brother, they was going to give him everything they could think that a child his age would want. They gave him PlayStation 3, Wii. They gave him Xbox 360. They gave him remote cars. Everything you could think of. They gave it to him for their birthday. And when this guy opened up all the presents and opened up all the toys, instead of him being thankful and excited that he had the latest and the greatest of all the toys and, and uh, console boxes and things like that, he got upset because one of the cars wasn't his favorite color. And the parents were just outdone. And they couldn't believe it. So the other brother, it was his turn to open up his one box. And in that one box, this brother found a box full of horse manure. He was like, oh my God. And when he saw the horse manure, he began to jump and shout, running around the room, thanking his parents, hugging on him. And, love, and they looked at each other like, this boy has got to be crazy. And when they asked him, why are you so happy? Do you not see that this box is full of horse manure? He said, yes, mom and dad. He said, well, a box that full of horse manure, it has to be a pony somewhere in this house. And that's the way, as believers, we need to look at life. No matter what the world serve us, we count it as joy when we face these trials. Now, one thing we need to understand is that when you fall into various trials, it's not just talking about different types of trial, but it's saying that all these trials may come upon you at the same time. It would be wonderful if we could experience problems and challenges like one at a time, get to take a break in between them. But many times today, as we deal with life and we navigate through life, we see we are faced and we are bombarded with challenge after challenge, issues after issues. It may be in our home life, our job life, our school life. We Just like taking the final exams. You know, you have to take them all in one week. You have to take for long hours. And so life telling you that, hey, we're trying to weigh you down. But the Bible telling us to count it as joy because once again, as a believer, we get to see God work at his best. When other people are falling apart, they are saddened, we are continuing continuing to serve the Lord with zeal and zest and with joy. And what does it mean to have joy? It simply is this. It means that we put Jesus first, yourself last, and others in between. And when we begin to serve the world the way God has served us by dying to, on the cross in order that we may live for him, we need to begin to count it as joy as an opportunity when trials come, tribulation to take ourselves out of the equation and begin to serve God and to serve others. And we will see that we will have a lasting effect, not only in our own personal spiritual life, but others will come to know Christ by the way we handle life crisis.